Today's episode is all about my package tray, or as Dad and I like to call it, the back dash. We are completely inventing a system of how to put three-point seat belts in the back of my car. We are adding my third brake light, and we are cutting holes for what will hold my new speakers. So let's get started. In a previous episode, we put in three-point seat belts in the back of the car. And one of the things we had to take out was a package tray. So we are going to make a new one and make it a lot nicer and add a few things. So the first thing we need to do is make another template because I broke it when I moved it. Sorry, Dad. Oopsie. Some of the many problems, not only that it's split in two now, <laughs> it's cracking in a whole bunch of different places. It actually has like mold on this end that we found when we took it out, which is disgusting. So the first thing we're going to do is trace a new template. Okay. So we got um, some hardboard from Lowe's. It's a little bit thicker than the original package tray, but we had read about other people replacing um, their package trays and using the hardboard. So that is what we are going with. They have a really similar texture on both sides because this side is smooth and this side is like rougher. So I think it's gonna work out. It's a little bent over. It has a little bit of a bend, but thankfully it's flexible enough to where you can like push it down softly and <laughs> kind of flatten it out to trace around it. So that's what we're going to do. Because this is super duper messed up, the side that has the mold on it is like chewed up, like it's curved. And on this side, it's a point. So after like looking it all over, it looks completely symmetrical. So I'm just going to flip the part that I broke off, which is actually kind of handy. <laughs> I'm gonna flip it over Ooh, and just- You got a big curve there. There's the chewed up bit. That's so, how it's supposed to be. So now the old clip, I'm trying to remember, was it sitting, like where does the seat come to is where I'm wondering. Yeah, but surely this, this needs to fit with this flat against here, right? Let me bring you the piece of the old package tray. Okay, so that one goes. But this goes. Right. So, um, but it's basically flush. So if we, if you, if we hold it down, draw a line, we could know to just cut on this side and I'll probably be right on the, on the money, don't you think? Okay, so we have the general shape of what we want the package tray to look like, but we still need to cut holes for the seat belts, our third brake light, and the speakers that we are going to put in. Um, we are also going to put on vinyl to make it look nice and match the rest of the car and a few other things. But first we have to get all of the holes cut for the seat belts, third brake light, and the speakers. Dad and I measured where exactly the seat belt sat in the back. For this side, at the bottom, it's three and a quarter. And then we transferred those measurements onto the package tray so that we can cut out the proper size hole for our three-point seat belt. So yeah, there. bingo. All right. All right. That is 
what we said we wanted to see Paul Donald to look like. We'll see if it works. This is stressful. <laughs> I know, right? You ready to cut him? No. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Clear on your side? Uh -huh. Sounds uh, like it. Nope, sounds ready I, on I, your I'm side. Check. So, we are a little small on, especially on the um, passenger side. It's revving a whole bunch on that side. Um, so, we are going to widen the gaps um, towards the front and towards the outside edge um, a quarter inch to get it plenty of room for when we put the vinyl and any lining that we put in there just so that no rubbing occurs and it's just a little bit frustrating because of everything that's been going on this week and of course this didn't work. It's working fine. You're doing yes, great. But You're doing great. This looks nice on my side. Mine's great. I've got good clearance all around. This hole's gonna be, this, these holes great. are gonna be great. Yeah. This is awesome. <sighs> we did it. All right, so we got it lined up. It looks pretty good, actually. It looks like it doesn't have enough clearance, but it 100% does. Um, we didn't get it right the first time, but whoever does. Okay, last holes we have to cut are for our speakers. So, in the car, you saw me trace out the um, holes where we have in our metal. Those holes are just a little bit too small for the speakers that I got from Retro Sound. Um, actually, one of the first things that I bought that we haven't gotten to put in. We've had those for I, a while. That I've had sitting on the shelf for like a year. But these speakers are just a little too big. They're a little too long and a little too wide. To just barely too wide, yeah. in those holes that are already there. So we are going to measure around and then we're going to mark down the hole, cut out the hole here and then double check it over there and cut out the hole in the middle. I'm going to measure off the edge of the sharpie mark I of your outer one. It's like 19 and a half. What's 19 and a half divided by two? 19 Nobody eight. cares. This should be the center of our hole. And that looks like the center of it, don't you think? Yes. That's the center there of your Oh, nice. So what did you do? I got the wire and I made the circumference. Perfect. I think this is just slightly bigger, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll mark it on the inside. Yeah. Okay, and look, it lines up nicely, pretty well with here mm -hmm. and the edges here. So I'll hold it and why don't you mark it? Okay, so all of the holes are cut. Don't look at this one because it's bad. <laughs> we did a, a worse job on the first one. But all of the holes are cut. Um, they actually look pretty even. It looks pretty even. I bet you if you folded this in half, which I'm not going to do because I've learned from <laughs> previous mistakes, that they would be pretty even. Um, so we're going to put it back in. Like I was talking about, the metal is a little small. So we're going to mark and see um, how much we exactly needed to cut off. Okay, so not much. It's just oh, a little really bit. Not much. That's it. Mm. That looks pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we have. All the holes cut out on our package tray and all of the exposed metal covered. So now, pretty much all we have left is to cover this in vinyl. All right, you start your edge. Tell
tell them my tale of sorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. What did I do? You forgot to get recorded. I wasn't recording when you did all these cool shots, so tell them about it, because it was, it's so cool. It was really satisfying. It, was really awesome. <sighs> it came off like... Dad, it's okay. Uh, okay. I have other great moments. Which of you? Oh, it's so satisfying. And I got that on camera this time. Not going to be repositionable. Both, you spray both, both sides. Yeah. Like it's not lifting up. Yeah. You know? It's real good hard. Mm -hmm. Make sure that everything is pressed down and it'll be good and it'll be fine. Let's heat it up in here. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm small! Give me a break! morning um we have taken off all of our weights and it looks really good i'm a little bit worried about it peeling up but other than that it looks really good um so we are going to keep going um and the next thing we have to do is put um the edging around all of the seat belt holes um so we're moving on to that Truth? Mm. Sort of. Oh, you're already going in. It's really, really cold, but we got it in and it looks pretty good, so we're just gonna do finishing touches and then go back inside. <laughs> oh, that's good. You can kind of, oh, it looks perfect. Just to plug it in. <sighs> Got it? Alright, why don't you go press your brake and let's see if we can see. Uh... Even without the car on it, should work? Yep. Okay. Ready when you are. Yay! Uh, what? It popped on and then went off. Hit it again. Yeah, the. We may not have the best ground connection. Okay, so it's been a few days and we're coming back to actually finish this project. Um, so the brake light, um, we got it in and it worked for a second and then it just kind of stopped working. So we are going to take it out and try to figure out what exactly the problem is. We think it's just the grounding. 
So we're probably just going to add like a piece of metal underneath. Um, but we're just going to take it out real quick and double check um, all of our wiring. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, break on. All right, yep, I got 12. Okay, so we're getting good flow through there. Okay. Give you good pressure, yeah. You got that hill? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. So I'm gonna hold it uh -huh. because you move it around. Okay. Is it. So the movement of this actually matters. So, yeah, because it, is it the pressure on there? Will you it's kind of. It's the pressure and this, how I moved it. That's what I mean. Because I, you... I was moving it up and down. And yeah. It moved. Will you leave. Yeah, see if, like, maybe we don't have a very good crimp here or something. Like. I don't a good amount of the wires are just out are, there. And broken and fraying. Look at that, like there's a good amount of the wires that are just out. Yeah, well, there's a problem. Work if I do this. Wait, it's moving. Yeah, yeah, move that wire. Oh wait. Oh, maybe that's not the problem. Do you want to try redoing these? Two? Maybe so. Let's either retry that with new bullet connectors. I see spade. Good job. Going on. Is it inside there? What if it's inside? Yeah, you're good. Okay, so I think we have an even bigger problem. So we're gonna do this disassembly at the table. As small as possible. Oh, okay. If it's causing a problem, because it could it just be that soldered spot there? Do we wanna go plug it in again? Now that it's out. You could maybe kinda of see how it moves and that's how it can't hurt, right? You ready? Yeah. Alright, we're on. Now that seems good. Yeah, it's not doing anything now. Interesting. Well, let's okay. put it back together. Alright, so you set there? Yeah. Okay. On. Yeah, working. Okay. And it's not budging at all. Nope. Okay, so now we're just doing a full test to just make sure that this is the problem and that we have fixed it. So we have extra hard board just to double check. Here we go. It works. What the heck? Well, let's put it back in. <laughs> It's on? Yep, it's staying on. Did you let off? I did. Okay. On, off. You're on, stressing on. me out. You can't oh, I'm just, sorry. You have to tell me. You I'm have sorry. to tell me. You can't just it's do it. I'm not letting go. It's staying on. Because you put it on and then it turned off and I was like, well, no! There goes all of my effort. Okay, it's still on. Yep. And off. And on. Yep. And off. And on. We have a third brake light. Yay! Okay, and finally, lastly, after like three weeks of work. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like we it. We are almost done. We technically could be done now, but dad wants yes. to be an overachiever and do more stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add more package tray clips. Four clips in total. We're going to put one on each um, brake where we actually put the seatbelt in. And then we're going to put one on each side in between 
um, the three original ones. Because our hardboard is thicker than the other one, it buckles a little bit more. So we're just going to pull it down just a little bit to make it sit a little nicer. Wait, you think what? I think the size is 3 sixteenths. Let's see. And it was also the first one I grabbed. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's totally it. It was the first one I grabbed, though. So. You're very smart. Clips, do I need to widen these? Do you want to kind of yes, push it on we're there? Going to have one. Okay. So maybe just, okay, I'll widen all these a little bit. Wait, can I widen them and you measure? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go get a punch. Here, do a punch mark wherever you gotcha. marked it. Yeah, that was great. All right. Ooh, look at it. It looks a lot better with the clips in. I was dubious, but it actually does look a lot better. Um, it's held down a lot nicer now. Um, so all we have to do is put in the seats and then we're gonna get the final look. a lot tougher and more stressful than I thought it would be but in the end I really like the way it turned out it was super cool and I'm very excited to install my speakers <laughs> so what I'm taking out of the garage this week is that even if something that you make isn't perfect the value of making it yourself is worth all of the imperfections Thank you, as always, to my executive producer, Drew Carter, and if you would like to support me, there are a few ways you can. You can subscribe to this channel, or you could go to my website, which is elliesgarage.com, where you can find links to my merch and to my Patreon. I'll see you next time in the garage. Forever, yeah. I wanna be forever.